Super Grave Snatches was gifted to me by the developer to take a look at before its release in October, which is really nice. I don't often get the opportunity to see a game early on like this. You play as a necromancer who has to destroy humanity. It feels similar to Sea Salt, except it has more of an RPG feel to it, because you control a necromancer character rather than Dagon's consciousness, and your necromancer can also cast spells to damage enemies and raise minions. The game is mostly about its minions, of which there are quite a few. Your necromancer also has a few direct damage spells. The two I tried is one that rapidly shoots fireballs wherever you point the mouse, and another one that creates a large area of effect that causes massive damage to everything in it, including your minions. How it works is you kill enemies, and you get points. These points can be used to purchase items, which are then equipped in the slots below. More slots can be purchased in graveyards, as well as a lot of other items that offer various things. Most of the items are minions, but some are direct damage spells or things that augment your existing abilities, like increasing the range and radius of your raised dead ability, or increasing your movement speed. Skeletons are the first minions you get, and they're swift melee units. They're not very strong, but they're very quick. Later on you can get some skeleton archers, which adds some much needed ranged potential to your army. Ten corpses can be combined into a jumbo, which is a huge skeleton. I believe it to be a type of construct or golem. It's huge, strong, and very hard to kill. At first it can be hard to get ten corpses in a small enough area to cause the jumbo to spawn, but once you upgrade the spell's radius a bit, and also have grave diggers that constantly are nerf corpses for you, it can be made quite consistently. Ghosts are awesome units that can possess the enemy for a time. A possessed enemy takes on a darker appearance and will fight for you until the effect wears off. Zombies are slow and tough and green, and are very cool units. Gravediggers are kind of tanky and don't deal much damage, but they constantly unearth corpses which can be a lifesaver. There's two secret unlockable minions, the Lich and the Evil Critter. I haven't unlocked these, and I'm going to have to leave it to you to find out what these are. I have no doubt they're good minions though. Now we come to scoring the game. I'm giving it a 9.25 out of 10 for its minion mechanics. They're very good. This is without a doubt a minions game. It scores very solidly in all areas, and the only area it could be improved in is its diversity. But even here there's already a good arrangement of minions on offer. You've got skeletons, the jumbo, ghosts, zombies, gravediggers, lich, and the evil critter. The necromancer is very squishy, so you've got to protect him. Minions are not craftable, but do require corpses to make, and for these reasons I consider the game to be somewhat immersive. The game itself is fun, and I really like the art style and music. It can be quite challenging, and I find the deadliest enemy to be fire, because I keep accidentally walking on it and killing myself. If you die, you return to a giant graveyard in hell, where you can regroup and buy and sell items. I hope you enjoyed the video. The game is releasing in October, so if you like the looks of it, you might want to pick it up. Thanks for watching, I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.